And Gary is back with us to talk about what we hear so much about is the Medicaid spin down. Yes. So what is it actually? Yeah, every, everyone has heard of spin down because it has that negative twist to it. Yes. And everyone sees spin down in a negative way. So we know that with Medicaid, unlike Medicare, with Medicaid there are certain restrictions as far as how much income you can make and how many assets or resources you can own. If you're over that restriction, then we need to do a spin down to get you for assets, because that's more what we talk about with spin down anymore. But if so, if you have a certain limit and you're over that limit on resources, then we have to spin down in order to get you below the resource limit so that you qualify. So you mentioned earlier, you said the myths. So the number one myth of spin down is that you have to spend money. You don't have to spend money. There are rules that allow you. Now, a, a popular spin down would be we're gonna go buy a new car and you can do that because one car is exempt from the Medicaid process. I always tell clients, if you're gonna buy a car, you were gonna buy a car anyway, and you need a car, go buy a car, but don't do it for purposes of Medicaid and spin down. Uh, we have that same conversation with um, appliances in the home. I'm gonna replace all the appliances. Well, if you need to replace the appliances, do it. But if you're only doing it for spin down, don't. You don't have to spend money, we may have to transfer or temporarily move money depending upon the, the circumstances, but you don't have to spend it, meaning it's gone, you'll no longer have it again. So you're really kind of reallocating or moving those dollars around for what your, I guess, net worth is? Is that the issue? Yeah, well, yeah, whatever the, whatever the amount you're over in order to qualify, we're going to have to move that money but it doesn't have to go to the retail store and be gone forever. There's some things we can do to protect it. For example, what kind of things can we do to protect it? Well, I, I, you know, I, I mentioned that we, there are certain things you can buy. The car is exempt if you, uh, if you want to um, you know, buy the appliances, you can. But if you don't want to spend the money, we take advantage of Medicaid compliant promissory notes where you're temporarily loaning someone some money and you'll be getting some, you'll, you know, they'll repay the loan. And so that's one, a, a Medicaid compliant annuity is another way we can shelter money, protect money, satisfy the spend down, but the money's not gone forever. I know you had this conversation when people come to see you because we have all these urban legends about you know what we have to do and that some they heard about somebody who lost everything and mm -hmm. you know so it's important to have this conversation so people know the facts That's right. rather than the myth the, the the biggest concern is that people think okay we're ten thousand dollars over so we're going to have to, if we're in a nursing home situation, we're going to have to pay the nursing home for the next, well, 10000 bucks. that's only one month, right? right. But uh, we're going to have to pay that money to the nursing home to spend it down. Not necessarily the case. All right, good to know. Is that in your book, Gary? It's in the book. Spin Down's in the book. And how do we get that you, book? You call my office, 812-475-8444. We send you a copy, no charge. Gary Parks, we'll be right back. Don't go away.